Well, people around the world are clearly becoming aware of just how much we owe to all the healthcare workers on the front lines of the fight against COVID-19. But they aren't the only essential workers. There are plenty of unsung heroes here, among them grocery store workers. Where would we be right now without them? CBS 4's Ty Russell is live in Miami with more. Ty. And Rita Bay and Elliot, I can tell you it's rare for TV cameras to be allowed in supermarkets these days because of the health and safety issues. But we were able to go inside of this Sedano's here in Miami and talk to at least two of those workers who are helping people during such a tough time. When the store opens and as it's closing, it's nonstop for workers at this Miami Sedano's supermarket. Workers who aren't going home with six figure salaries, but are just as dedicated. Every time the truck comes, we come, we load them up, and we put them in the shelves. For two years, Eddie Castellanos has been doing his best to keep shelves stocked. Seeing shopping carts full shows how important he is to so many families. It makes me feel really happy. Really happy because, uh, and I'm helping my community. It's a community with people constantly in need of food, medicine, toiletries, and cleaning supplies. This is the first time I actually see with a lot of people. Everyone is trying to stay safe and healthy while working and shopping. As required in Miami-Dade County, he and his co-workers have masks. The supermarket also gave them gloves. Some have face shields. There are also barriers between the cashier and customer. And shoppers are required to have face coverings. And there are signs to help make sure people remain six feet apart. Here, there's even a dedicated crew for cleaning. Uh, they know that this is something that we have to be ready to support our community, and they're doing more than we asked for. They're doing great. Manager Pedro Mesa has been with the Miami-based supermarket for decades, and he knows shoppers are worried. Everybody's nervous at this time, so they go the extra mile to give that, that support to the customer when they come to the store. They want to come in, they want to get what they need, and they want to leave as fast as possible. The supermarkets have also beefed up staff by hiring more people, including those who are temporarily out of work at restaurants. They were one of the leaders starting senior shopping hours for an hour in the mornings. And for Castellanos, his goal is to try to make all shoppers feel normal and not such a normal time. It makes me feel good, you know, that they're getting their food and everything is going good and going normal. And some of these workers in these supermarkets are risking their lives. Publix today emailed me and said that they're giving their workers two weeks paid off if they test positive for coronavirus. And if they are exposed to that associate who tested positive, they also get two weeks paid off. We are live in Miami. I'm Ty Russell, CBS4 News.